Welcome to another Igloo imaging tutorial. This is Illustrator CC, um, but the sh these tools have been around for quite a while now, so go back a few versions. We've got the Shape Builder tool and the Pathfinder tool. Very useful tools when you're doing vector graphics, logo design, that kind of thing. This is what the Shape Builder tool looks like, and it's just over here. Uh, it could be with underneath the Live Paint or Live Paint Selection tools. So it looks like two circles getting joined together. So that's the Shape Builder tool. The Pathfinder section is a little window. I've got mine down here at the bottom. If you can't see it, you want to go up to Window and select Pathfinder. And then you can put it wherever you want. So we've got a few different ones. If you can't see, if you hover over them and you can't see a description, like I can see here, if I hover over a tool, I can see Width, I can see Shape Builder. It's a good little tip if you're new, just to go up to Illustrate the preferences, hit general, and then in there you want to show tip tool tips. If that box is ticked, when you hover over something, it'll tell you what it is. It's just a quick one. So let's shift over to a new artboard. This is an illustrator, and just to show you what this is, it doesn't matter what size the artboard is, we're doing vector graphics, so it can be any size. These are the shape modes, and these are the pathfinder modes. So again, they're down here, but I've just drawn these out to, to show them better. You've got Unite, Minus Front, Intersect, Exclude, Divide, Trim, Merge, Crop, Outline, and Minus Back. So we're going to go through them one by one and see what they do. And then we're going to do the Shape tool after that. So let's start by drawing some shapes. I'm going to use squares, so click and hold your, um, your Shape tool over there. Um, and choose Rectangles. Rectangle tool. So you're gonna click, drag, and if you hold down shift, it'll keep it to a square. So just about there. If you hit V, which is your selection tool, you click and hold and hit Alt and Shift and it'll move it diagonally out. So just move it out to about halfway so it intersects. And that way we've got what they've drawn there. Make it a touch bigger just to show what's going on. So, here, two shapes. This shape is going to be in the front. So you can put it in the front by, if I change colour just quickly, you can see it's in the front. So if I press Command Shift and the square bracket, it'll go to the back. Command Shift and the right hand square bracket, sorry, it'll go to the front. Left hand square bracket will go to the back. The front back, that's an easy shortcut. I'll change it back to the colour that we were using. So the first one we're going to do is unite. Drag the, press V and drag the cursor over both. So it's all selected. Now, if you just hit unite, it just makes it one shape. So you can see if I press Y, uh, if I press command Y, that shows you the outline. So if I go undo that, you can see it was two shapes and then it turns into one shape. So command Y and go back out. So I'm going to undo that. So that just makes it one shape minus front, fairly simple. This one's up front, let's change the color again so we can see that one's up front. We're gonna hit minus front and it's just taken that square out of that square. Go back again, intersect, select it all again, intersect, takes the two shapes away and leaves the one that's intersected in between. Exclude, it's the opposite of intersect, cuts out the middle and leaves the two out. You can see sometimes they change colors when they're sort of united as such in, in a, a regular shape. Uh, exclude, we've just done. Now we're going on the Pathfinder one, it's Divide. Let's hit that one, and it, what it's done, you just see bits of the bounding box change. So as you hit it, you can see those two corner marks go away. And what it's done is if I click off and press A, which is a direct select tool, and if I click and, click and drag, Shift and Alt, I can drag it away at 45. Oh, I don't want to copy that, sorry. I just move that direct select and move it away and move that away. You can see it's cut the three shapes out. So we'll do that one again. Divide, I can take out the middle square, move that one, move that one. That's quite handy if you're doing logo design and that kind of thing. So let's undo all that, make sure, yeah. Trim. Again, just going to take the first one away, hit 
trim. So they stay together, but they've been cut out. So if you direct select with A, you can see they've been cut out one from the other. Merge does pretty much exactly the same as Unite. If there's any differences, please let me know. But hit Merge and, sorry, Merge. Ah, see, it's interesting. Okay, this is going to be a cut in the middle. We're going to go back and talk about the merge tool. Cut. The merge tool kind of does the same as the Unite tool, if they're the same colour. So if I make these the same colour, just press I, it's a shortcut for the eyedropper, make them the same colour and hit Merge, it makes them one shape. If they're different colours and I hit Merge, it does what the trim tool does. So, little strange anomaly in there. Crop. Select both, hit crop, and it's cropped the top shape, left us with the middle shape, but if I press A and drag over here, I could then color that to a different shape. So it gives me those top two shapes, minus the back shape. Now, select both and go to Outline. And it has outlined everything. You might want to make the strokes a bit heavier because they start at zero. I'll just make five, you can see. Now, if I press A in Direct Select, in fact, if I do V, press Command Shift G, it sort of ungroups everything. And you can see it is all the individual shapes cut apart. Go back and do all that. And then minus back. So that shape was in the back and it just takes it away. So we'll change the colours, minus back, and it gives us this front shape. I know that was quite quick, but they all do slightly different things. You might find you just use the Unite one or minus front. Those are the two that I use the most. I don't tend to use a lot of the other tools, but it's entirely up to you guys. Now, let's go on to the Shape Builder tool. We're going to have to draw some shapes now. Let's draw some circles like they've drawn. So select your Ellipse tool, shortcuts L, and again, drag holding Shift makes it a perfect circle. Let's do that. Just change it to this orange, make it a bit smaller. And if you click Shift Alt, it's going to copy it across. Then if you hit V, we're going to just drag this bounding box out here, holding down Shift, and it's going to make it a bit bigger. So it looks a bit like the um, the icon itself. Now, what if we select all those two shapes and press? The shape builder tool, it's shift M is the shortcut. When I hover over these shapes, you can see it's automatically selecting the shapes. So if I click and drag into those two, it unites those two. If I just undo that, if I click and drag all three, it unites all three. If I wanted those two, it unites those two. If we add a couple more shapes in, select them all. We can drag into whatever shapes we want. And then if you direct select those, press V, make them a bit smaller. V, make them a bit smaller, direct select A, V, make them a bit smaller. You can start to create interesting shapes for logo designs and that kind of thing. So the Shape Builder is just a, a more interactive way of doing what these do. Um, and again, if we undo all that, we can start doing these together, those together, and those together. It's a very useful tool. Best thing I'd say is get some practice with, with all of these tools, and, and before long you'll be using them without even thinking. So, thanks for listening. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Thank you.